Tell us about what was going through your mind when you saw Cassidy Hutchinson testifying. Well, first, let me thank you, Lawrence, for having me tonight. It's a real pleasure. You're one of my favorite newsmen. Um, what was it like? I, I, I don't want to say it was another day at the office, uh, although in many ways it was. Uh, I was, uh, um, everything I, I did really seemed to come naturally. And, uh, I had, I had no qualms about not answering questions. I had my own little rules. Uh, that is that everything I answered was a direct question, a question without any ambiguity and very clear. And if it met those uh, qualifications, uh, I was going to, uh, I didn't, I didn't want to be tricky with the committee. I respected the committee, but uh, unless the question met those requirements, uh, I was not going to uh, re uh, respond in kind. You have said that uh, you didn't consider yourself to be testifying against the president. Uh, you actually thought maybe, because you didn't know it was on the tapes, you thought maybe there are some things on these tapes that are helpful to the president. Well, uh, no, that, well, I'm not sure you, that's right, Lawrence. I was worried to death because what nobody knew I felt it was my responsibility and that I was the person who was told to put in this system. And I chose the Secret Service Technical Security Division of the Secret Service to do that work. Uh, their career uh, guys, and I knew them very well, I was sort of the liaison uh, between the Oval Office and the Secret Service. Uh, and I knew most of them pretty well. Uh, uh, I even selected one of the leaders of the Secret Service uh, when the longtime leader had to leave office. And I, uh, so uh, I just, I just had this little rule and if, if it met the rule and was in no way uh, indirect or fuzzy or ambiguous, ambiguous, uh, I would refuse to answer. Uh, I've been hearing some people uh, who s watched uh, Cassidy Hutchinson's testimony who wondered why she didn't come so uh, forward sooner, why she needed a subpoena to testify. Uh, tell us what it's like to be in that situation working in the White House uh, where you never anticipate, certainly when you start working there, that you'll end up testifying in a way like this, and, and, and what it's like as a witness when you come around to the realization that you're, you're going to have to raise your right hand and tell the truth. Well, first, let me say that uh, what, from the day that I started at the Nixon White House, which was January uh, uh, Twenty uh, first of the uh, Nixon uh, of the first year of the Nixon administration, uh, I was the uh, deputy White House chief of staff to Bob Haldeman, and I was also at that same time at the beginning chief administrative officer and director of internal security, and then within a year, I was. Uh, uh, secretary to the cabinet and uh, working very closely on a daily basis with the president himself. So uh, I, I, you know, my only boss was Haldeman and uh, he and I, I had trouble with Haldeman for a while. I had known him uh, back at UCLA in 1946 and uh, we we had we were close because we our our girlfriends were uh, Kappa Kappa Gamma sisters, and uh, so Bob 
uh, counted on me to do a lot of things right away. And I, I, I took to that. I didn't have any trouble doing it. I'd been a colonel in the Air Force and uh, one of the world's greatest fighter pilots. And uh, so, I, you know, I, I, this, was a, this was something I felt I could do and do pretty well. As you watch the, uh, this current investigation of the president and you watch this testimony unfold, uh, what, what, what are your reactions to the witnesses so far, especially Cassidy Hutchinson? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned her because I can't tell you, Lawrence, I was very impressed by that young lady. You could tell that uh, she didn't particularly want to be there, but she was so professional. You knew that she was being tr uh, truthful, and uh, uh, it, was, it, was, it was just an, I knew nothing about her before, but she was being very professional in every way. I only hope that <laughs> that my uh, that my uh, various interviews were half as good. Did you did you have the feeling watching her uh, of what it felt like to be in that room yourself, uh, giving that uh, what was then called, you know, the bombshell testimony? Yeah. Yes, I did. Uh, you know, I felt I I had a feel for what she was going through at the time. 